He's all into sport, uh, so he's a great athlete. I have to go to school now. Yeah, you will have lunch and then you go to school. Now I'm going to go. Yeah. Former President Donald Trump has now made his plan official to run for president again, making the announcement at his getaway estate in Palm Beach, Florida, Mar-a-Lago. His youngest son, Baron Trump, whom he shares with his current wife, Melania Trump, currently lives with the high-profile couple at the Florida property. Prior to living here, 16-year-old Baron Baron lived with his parents at the White House and at their other family home in New York City's Trump Tower. In fact, at Trump Tower, Baron had his very own floor, even though at the time he was only nine years old. His mom, Melania, described it as quote unquote Baron's living room, but it boasted its own kitchen, living area, nanny quarters, and more. I think it's safe to say that the youngest of the Trump clan has been living in quite the lap of luxury. Also, Michael and I have dropped our own house tour of our new home that we moved into this year, so go ahead and subscribe to our personal channel if you want to see where we're living and more of what we're up to. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses, and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. Baron Trump is Donald Trump's only child with his current and longtime wife, Melania. Unlike a handful of his older half siblings, Baron, who's currently 16 years old, stays out of the spotlight for the most part. Over the last few years, Baron has been spotted traveling with his parents and often by their sides. And when his father was still president, they would hop on and off Air Force One or the president's helicopter. They would often go from their private properties like Mar-a-Lago in Florida, back to the White House where they were living at the time, and so forth. Clearly, Baron lives with his high-profile parents since he's still a teen, and that in itself comes with a ton of luxurious perks. After months of living in New York City with Melania, back when Donald became president the first time around, Barron finally made the move to the White House halfway through his father's first year in office. However, before that, Barron lived in what might have been his nicest quarters thus far at the Trump Tower in Manhattan, New York. Why was it Baron's nicest living situation, you might ask? Well, in his parents' multi-level penthouse here, he had an entire floor to himself despite being a kid. His mother referred to it as Baron's living room, and what did a nine-year-old need with his own mini apartment? Who knows? But Trumps could no doubt afford to provide their son with these extravagant perks. Baron's living room was complete with its own kitchen, living room, and even quarters for his nanny as well as Melania if she wants to hang out. Considering how fully stocked his setup was, it actually sounds like moving into the White House was kind of a downgrade for him. However, when Baron was living in the White House, he did get access to a bowling alley, a basketball court, a movie theater, a games room, a swimming pool, and much more. Certainly enough to keep any young man occupied. Over in Manhattan, however, for many years, the Trump family lived in the top three floors of the iconic Trump Tower. With the entire residence decorated in a gilded and opulent design, 66 stories high in his penthouse on Fifth Avenue. The family enjoyed nearly 11,000 sprawling square feet of living space across three levels, one of which was Barron's. Melania had posed for pictures with her newborn for People magazine a few weeks after Baron's birth, and at this time, they lived in the New York home as well. She said then, he's a very good baby, he's not like a crybaby, he's calm and it's fantastic. Melania also explained in the interview how she had been given a gold pram complete with its own chandelier from Ellen DeGeneres after Baron was born. Inside the Trump Tower residence, the home had bonuses like Greek mythical paintings on the ceilings, a clear view of Central Park, marble fireplaces, and a diamond embellished front door. Essentially, the place screams luxury and was modeled after the Palace of Versailles. Other details included cathedral ceilings, Corinthian columns, sparkling chandeliers, and a ton of gold accents. 
Trump took Forbes on a tour during the last presidential election, boasting that the size was about 33,000 square feet. But he had over exaggerated just a little bit. He had an office on the 26th floor in the building, so living and working here was easy, even a private elevator to reach it. When Trump built the tower in 1983, the landmark skyscraper became one of the most recognizable and greatest in the world. When it was completed, it was the tallest glass building in Manhattan at the time, rising over 600 feet into the city skyline and sitting on less than an acre of land. Visually striking with its glass curtain wall and sawtooth faceting, its bold bronze exterior is a dramatic architectural masterpiece that has received rave reviews from the New York Times architecture critics. Its interior with a 100 foot mirrored atrium, 7 foot waterfall and marbled floors was also equally impressive. These days, it said that Trump's massive penthouse here would be worth an estimated $54 million. After Barron's father was no longer president, the family moved to their current main residence, the Mar-a-Lago estate over in Palm Beach, Florida. The Trump property here is even bigger than their NYC home, boasting 58 bedrooms, 33 bathrooms, and 12 fireplaces throughout. Considering this is where the family has been primarily living, this is also where Donald Trump recently announced his intent to run for a second presidential term, which he had teased for several months prior to the actual announcement. During his last presidency, the exclusive Mar-a-Lago resort, which is also where Donald Melania and Barron are living currently, was often referred to as the Winter White House, as it was their vacation retreat. Following the end of his presidential term, the Trumps decamped to the lavish property in 2020, reports of construction at the estate's living quarters stoked rumors of the move long before they officially called it their main abode. Melania was also spotted looking at schools for a young baron, and sure enough, in 2021, it was confirmed that he was in fact enrolled at a private school in Palm Beach. The exclusive school that Barron is attending is at the Oxbridge Academy, from which he will graduate in 2024. Oxbridge Academy is located in Palm Beach County and was founded in 2011 by billionaire William Koch, brother to Republican mega donors Charles and David Koch, and a previous fundraiser for Trump's campaigns. Reportedly, tuition costs to attend Oxbridge High School are currently $34,800 a year. Well, when Barron isn't busy with his studies, he can take in the luxurious setting of the family home Mar-a-Lago. Before becoming the family's main abode, it always served as the Trump family's upscale weekend getaway and has also hosted a number of high-powered visitors over the years. Located in an exclusive area of Florida's Palm Beach, the property was originally built in the 1920s and it has quite the history as well. The mansion was constructed between 1924 and 1927 for the socialite and post-serial heiress Marjorie Merriweather Post, who inherited her father's serial empire when she was 27 after his tragic suicide. Post amassed a fortune of $250 million, which would be equal to about $1.5 billion these days, making her one of the richest women in US history, so of course she went all out when it came to the Oceanside Mansion. She hired architect Marion Sims, who specialized in Gilded Age in her design to envision her winter retreat on the beach. The 20-acre property offers 128 rooms these days and spans the entire width of the island Palm Beach is on, from the Atlantic Ocean to the intercoastal waterway. The Spanish Morris style mansion had exterior stone imported from Italy and tens of thousands of antique tiles dating back to the 15th century that came from a castle in Cuba. Many fixtures were gold plated and in the end, Post's projects went eight times over budget, a lot of which was spent on the lavish living room. Here there was a statement ceiling that was a replica of the thousand wing ceiling in Venice and this plus the walls was covered in a ton of gold. Gold leaf. Post designed the library in English Georgian style, which offered antique British oak paneled walls. According to Trump's former butler, the shelves here were lined with super rare first edition books, which basically got no appreciation. And according to him, the Trump family never once picked up one of these books. Anyways, inside Mar-a-Lago spans a whopping 62,500 square feet of space, and the rooms are opulent as you might expect. 
When Post had the mansion constructed, there was a mix of styles throughout. The guest and master bedrooms reach a total of 58, and originally these quarters had different themes. For example, there was a Dutch bedroom with tiles from there, and a glass-covered Venetian-style room, Spanish and Portuguese-themed room, and the Louis XIV-themed master suite. After some sneaky bartering, Donald Trump actually scored Mar-a-Lago in 1985 from the Post family for the mere price of $8 million, which included the property itself and all of its antique furnishings. He further decided to turn Mar-a-Lago into a private club in 1995 to help turn a profit from the massive estate, and he promised to carry out a restoration of the entire property in order to do so. Trump spent millions on this extensive restoration, which included a number of additions to the property. He built a 20,000 square foot ballroom with a rumored $7 million in gold leaf and a Louis XIV style, added two swimming pools, a beauty salon and a spa, and even spent 100 k each on four gold-plated sinks in the new ballroom. While the mega home went from 118 to 128 rooms and it had all been restored, some of the antique contents were sold off at auctions and replaced with replicas. Some of the things Trump got rid of included the jewel-covered marble dining table, an antique Spanish rug, a Louis XIV chest, and Venetian glasses that were worth 1K a piece. These days, Daniel, Melania, and Barron maintain private quarters in a separate area of the Mar-a-Lago mansion, and it serves as their primary residence. Aside from the Trump family's personal quarters, Mar-a-Lago offers club members access to things like two dining rooms, a beach club, pools and spas, as well as guest suites. And if the club's multiple beaches just aren't enough, you can relax by one of the various pools on the property. A few years back, Forbes estimated the value of Mar-a-Lago is at around a $160 million, having increased greatly over the years thanks to those extensive renovations, lavish features, the historic background, and more. But for now, that's going to conclude our Baron Trump house tour. We'll have to keep our eye on the youngest of the Trump clan and see when he buys a place of his own. But before we go, answer me this question. If your father was Donald Trump or someone that wealthy, what do you think would be the biggest perk of being one of his children? I mean, I can think of plenty of perks, but let me know your thoughts down in the comments as well as what you liked or didn't like about those properties. Otherwise, you know what to do, like subscribe and turn on those notifications. My name's Kara the Vampire Slayer, follow me on Instagram to chat, and I'll see you all in another video. Bye.